check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hi, hello, welcome and welcome to Little Sla YouTube channel. And this is me, Yavasant Shanmugam. In our previous videos, we saw how to create a testing project or a test script using web application. And then we saw about how to create a script using an API which is a get and a post request. So today we are going to see about how to create or how to do a web service testing using Neo Load. So in this video, we will understand how to design a SOAP service using Neo Load to validate the performance of web service. And for that, first we will need to create a web project. So let's create a project now and let's give a name for that it's going to be a soap request load test and let's create the project so now we have created a new project let's la now create a new user path and we all know how to create a new user path it is right click on the user path and click create a new user path and then select new user path and then enter a path name and it is going to be web service testing so again web service load test let's click ok so now we have a user path created for us to test so the next action or the third action is going to be creating a soap request inside the actions so we have the actions here and let's right click on it and click select insert as child and then select request and under this we are going to select the soap request so now we have selected the soap request and we have this soap request wizard appearing on us so we have two ways and we are able to create a soap request so it can be either using a visdil file or we have the option to create or we can generate a request manually but now we have a visdil file so let's go with the first option which is generate request with a visdil file and let me copy the link the visdil link here so we have entered the url of the visdil and let's now click on next and the soap request wizard so while we enter it all the dependent or all the methods which are called for this method will be called here and we can select every one of them let's select every one of them which is add divide multiply subtract and again in the calculator soap request it is going to be add divide and multiply and subtract let's click on next and then we can see here the bindings and the endpoints and let's finish it and now we can see all the methods added under the actions so we have everything the soap method which is the add divide multiply subtract and then again we have calculator soap add divide multiply and subtract so now we must select the method to edit the call parameters to provide inputs to the request so we have to select each of these requests each of these method to provide input to the request so for that we have to click on edit call parameters so let me click on edit call parameter so now we have this add method and we will have to input our value here so i'm giving here the value is 100 and then i'm selecting the second parameter and it's going to be 200 so the same way we can give values to each of these methods and the value so we have in fact we have various other parameters or like other headers we have so we have headers here and we have advanced where we can see the version of the soap if we want to choose the first 1.1 we can choose it but since we are using 1.2 we can choose this 1.2 as a version 
and then under the soap message format we have four different soap messages format where we can we just use for the binding style so we have this rpc encoded and then we have this rpc literal we have document and literal and then we have the wrapped document or literal so this is the format which we are using it for this particular test so we are selecting that and then under the soap attachments where we encapsulate the attachment so we have mime dime and mtom so let's choose mime for this and then when we come to security so in case if this particular methods or if this particular services are if they need any certificates or something so they will be provided here so we can add the security headers and if there is really a security token that has to be added so we can add them but since this is an unsecured method or unsecured request so it's not unsecured but still there is no any security profile that has been set so we are not giving it here but still if we want if we have any key store something like a pfx something like a certificates we have then we can paste them here and then finally we have the xml preview so this is the xml preview of the first method which is the calculate add method so here we can see for the int a the value is 100 and for the int b we have given 200 so this is the method that we are going to call for the very first method that is calculator soap 12 dot add and here we can see the name of the variables and then the name spaces and we have the type so this is a brief about what are the soap parameters here So same way we can enter for all the other methods as well let's give them 12 and in 6 is going to be 6 these are just random parameters i'm giving so that we can just try just check them once we run the test So let's now go to the validation so there are so let's go to the validation and run the script validate the script and see how does it work let me start checking so now the test has started and let's now see the response and here we can see the response is 300 and let's see the request here so it is 100 and 200 and the response is 300 here and then let's go to the divide so the divide value is 12 since the request and response is 12 and 6 and then when we come to multiply it's 12 into 45 then the value is 540 and then when we come to subtract it's 100 because it's 111 minus 11 so this is how the web services work and in fact we can even bring the parameters here so now let's see how to insert or how to do parameterization for the web services so this is going to be a separate uh, task on this so adding or let's see how to add or how to parameterize the values into the web services so let's now create a parameter and let's name it as rand so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give random numbers in each of in each of these variables so i'm going to parameter value and then i'm choosing here so since it is a random so we can just copy paste the random to all the variable value is going to be random for each of these so let's choose random here so I'm giving a random for all these scripts where we have previously gave some static values so I'm saving it now and let's run this test and see how does it work and let's give two iterations to see how each of them work let's start the execution so 
So now let's see the response. So we have got two iterations and here we can see the values are totally randomized and we can see that those values have been parameterized and substituted here and you can see those in the variables part and every value is being given here and let's now see the correlation why not why not correlation being why should we leave that topic alone see so we started with creating a script and then we started and then we continued with parameterizing it and let's now see how to correlate the values in here so for this let's go to this value and let's click on valid advanced and let's go to variable extractors and before that let's go here and we will go to the add part and in the add so we all know how to do the correlation it's similar to what we did for web application or web services so select the left boundary and the right boundary in the previous response and then come back to the script go to the validation go to the variable extractors select this plus button and choose the both so for this we can choose as add 0 1 and then giving the starting width so here we have got the left boundary and here we are giving the right boundary and we will remove the value which we need to extract or which we want to extract so let's click OK and let's again click another OK and let's come to divide and what we are going to do is so let's see what's the value so it's at 0 1 and let's come to divide and let's choose the advanced and before that what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the value here so what I'm doing going to do is instead of the int 1 I'm going to choose the add 1 as the first int a variable value and then now what we'll do is we'll go to the advance of the divide and then let's go to the response and for that we'll have to go to the response here and then it is divide result so let's choose it come back to the script go to advanced then let's choose it let's click on both and now we will give these values here so it's going to be divide 0 2 let's click OK now let us run the script to see how does it work or how does or what happens how does this correlation happens okay so let's now run the script let's keep it as one iteration click OK and run the script let's validate the script and let's see how does the correlation works here so we started with creating a web services and then we moved to parameterizing them and then finally we are in the correlation now And here we have seen that the scripts are working fine so for the first script or the first step first request we have got this add 0 1 as the response and then again we have used that value here and then we have got this as the response so this is how the creation of a script the parameterization and the correlation is done for the web services so with this we come to an end I believe this video would have been very useful to you. So until we meet you in another interesting session, it's bye from Asan Shanmugam and Little Slaw.